you guys. So when it comes to really fun, easy veggies to cook, spaghetti squash is totally one of my favorites. And I'm gonna show you a fast, easy, pretty much hands-free way to do it in like 10 minutes for busy weeknights. So spaghetti squash is such an awesome one because you buy it whole, obviously, and then you can keep it at room temperature for a week or two, honestly, in a cool, dry spot. If you like spiralized veggies like I do, you either have to break out your spiralizer to make some zucchini noodles, or when you buy them at the supermarket, you kind of have to use them pretty quickly or they get like a little wet and mushy. So spaghetti squash is great for impromptu easy meals too. So what I'm gonna show you today is one of my favorite decadent, rich Italian sauces to put on top of our spaghetti squash. It's a brown butter sage sauce. So you might have had like butternut squash ravioli in, the, in this sauce. The thing that's cool about it, it seems tricky and complicated and like chefy to make, but I swear it is so easy in one pan, it takes like five minutes. So I'm gonna post the recipe and the smart points below, but again, this is a really great low carb, low calorie, low smart point, gluten free way to enjoy an Italian pasta favorite. So here's the trick that's gonna keep it really easy and fast for weeknights. You can roast spaghetti squash in the oven, but that means you have to cut it in half while it's still hard and raw, scrape out the seeds, and it takes like 45 minutes in the oven. So with my fast, easy way, we're going to vent it with a knife pierce it in a bunch of different places to let out some of the steam, and we're gonna microwave it in just 10 minutes. And you can microwave it whole, too. All right, you guys, so here's the thing. When you stab it with the fort with the knife to vent it, make sure you really put a lot of vents in there. It's kind of a fun way to vent your frustrations, because I'm gonna show you what'll happen if you don't vent it well enough. Yep, it can explode. So make sure you really get in there with the knife so that the steam can come out. So now you just pop it in the microwave for 10 minutes on a plate like this, and we're gonna make our brown butter sage sauce. Okay, there is barely any prep for this. Obviously, you need some fresh sage, and seriously, for this recipe, fresh is best. You couldn't really use dried here. I highly recommend the, using the fresh. It gives this great, amazing flavor. So we're just gonna chop some of that up, and then we're gonna have a lemon, and the lemon is to add brightness later. I love cooking with lemons, and I'm gonna show you how to use it here. Now we're gonna take a saute pan and add our butter over low, medium heat, and let it cook for three to four minutes. So what's gonna happen, it's going to foam and bubble, and then keep an eye on it here, it's really important. The milk solids in the butter actually toast or brown in the butter while it's cooking. That's what's gonna give your brown butter sauce that rich, deeper, yummy flavor that you love so much. But seriously, it's that easy. When you order it in a restaurant, now you know how fast it is to make. Okay, so now we're going to off the heat, definitely get the butter off the heat, we're gonna add our chopped sage, and you can see how it bubbles and crisps and it infuses the butter with this amazing, delicious herbal flavor. Now comes my little secret trick. I love finishing this with a squeeze of fresh lemon. You can use a half a lemon if you don't really care for lemon flavor, but I really do recommend you adding it. Lemon just balances out the herbal note and the richness of the butter to make a really delicious, well-rounded sauce. You guys, that's it. You just made brown butter sage sauce. Now, this would also be delicious on some roasted butternut squash or on some cauliflower gnocchi. You could spoon it over some like grilled fish or over chicken. It's just a really versatile, awesome sauce to have in your cooking game. All right, let's check on our spaghetti squash. So you can see, you just want it lightly fork tender like this and we'll take it out of the microwave and I'll show you how to scrape out the spaghetti strands. It's gonna be hot, so use a clean kitchen towel. You're gonna slice all the way through it with a chef knife and separate the halves. And now all you need to do is take a regular spoon, scoop out the center part, it's like seeds, and it's gonna be a little bit darker. And then, using your kitchen towel, just hold it over a bowl, and with a fork, just scrape out the strands of spaghetti. That was a lot easier than putting it in the oven for 45 minutes, right? So now to finish our dish, we're just gonna toss the spaghetti squash in with our brown butter sage sauce with some tongs. Give it a good toss just to really make sure you're incorporating all that yummy brown butter and sage flavor in with your squash. All right, if you're a fan of Italian food like I am, you have got to check out my other Cooking for One video. It is turkey pepperoni zucchini pizza boats. It sounds like a mouthful, but it's going to satisfy all those lasagna and pizza-like cravings in a happy, healthy way. And you can make it for one in like 10 minutes on a weeknight. Okay, so to finish our spaghetti squash, I love to garnish it with a little bit of fresh parm. You're definitely gonna wanna hit it with a little more salt and pepper to taste, just to make sure that it's really well seasoned. And then I saved a little bit of the fresh sage to add for a garnish. 
And that is it. Look how yummy and delicious. It's such a great way to mimic that spaghetti flavor. Spaghetti squash is nice and neutral. It's not a powerful, strong flavor. So this is really a great one to try. Here's an idea for you. I love serving this with a crispy fried egg on top. You can cut into it and the yolk will run into it. It's great for lunch or brunch or just like a fast weeknight dinner if you have no other protein on hand. But you could also just serve it with a little bit of chicken on the side or some grilled fish or shrimp or something like that. So you guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below so you'll know when I post new videos. And let me know in the comments below too if you've cooked spaghetti squash before, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you've never tried it. But hopefully I showed you how extremely easy it is to do for weeknights. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time where happy meets healthy.